Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning everyone. Now we would like to present about forest fires. Let me introduce our team. The first is Dewi Kartini, the second is Dina Rahma, the third is Dwi Wandari, and the last is Haji Turabia. Let's check this out. The term forest fire is used for such uncontrollable fire which burns forests and other type of vegetation and causes damage to the associated wildlife. Their fires occur in area where land is cleared, where there are dry leaves and grasses, where people throw scurries carefully, placed with high temperature, drought, places that are often exposed to light and thunderstorms. One of the forest fires occurs during the dry season. For the natural source is first lightning tides, second hot power calling lava and earthquake. Can also be the quality culprit. As rock rise against each other during quick the abrasion friction can cause sufficient ignition temperature. And the last is meteorite. Next, the cause of forest fires is due to human activities. 1. Campfire cannulisis 2. Train wheels on the track power 3. Even shooting a target with a gun If the forest and land that is burning is that forest, then the staff is responsible. Meanwhile, if what is burning is an industrial plantation forest or HTI or oil palm plantation, then the company that owns our HPI or the owner of the oil plant plantation is responsible. The management and accountability of forests and land fires need to be more transparent and clear. The government and countries must be bound by the laws that make them sell. Fires start with a spark that can be generated by embers that blow from a campfire lightning, the heat of the sun, or often human error. Fires require a lot of fuel to grow, and weather can exacerbate fires, for example, drought, wine, and extreme heat can make fire bigger, faster, and more dangerous. The solution of forest fires First, in areas vulnerable to forest park, avoid planning of development projects and settlements. Second, clear the areas around forest from bushes, plants, dry leaves, and broken branch which may add to the process of fire. Third, do not store inflammable material near the forest. Fourth, grow spongy type of vegetation which can store large amount of water. Fifth, train the people about firefighting. Six, evacuation plans should be prepared. Seven, no smoking. And the last, no work that causes sparks on high creek days. This forest fires is an adverse event because when a forest fire occur it will cause air pollution so that it will cause respiratory problems. However, we can see from the positive side that these forest fires are indeed useful in helping the forest to eliminate harmful insects or plants that are affected by disease, as well as cleaning the canopies to help sunlight reach the seed on the forest floor. However, these fires can be prevented by affording burning or clearing land, conducting close patrol and stop violence. That's all from us and thank you for listening. May all those we have shared and be beneficial for all of us. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.